Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. I am so sorry. I am late this morning. I was on the phone with a customer and I and I, I didn't want to hang up with her because I didn't want to be rude, but I knew I had to be on here at 10 o'clock because I had promised you I'd be here at 10. So I apologize that I am running late. I hope that you stuck around. Those of you that have been waiting uh, patiently to see the copy of the new journal, I'm so excited to show it to you. But I thought I'd go ahead and start with the devotional for today, and then I will get on and show you the new journal, okay? Let's see here. Um, If you're joining me, let me know who's here. see a couple of you on this morning. Let me see. I want to make sure I can see the, the chat here. Hey, Kathy was just looking for me. Kathy, is that you? I am on. I apologize. I had a, I was on a phone call. Good morning, Hope. Yes, I was on a phone call this morning and I did not want to be rude and uh, leave the woman on the phone. So I went ahead and, uh, and finished my call and then I came on. So I apologize. My throat is still not 100%. So uh, bear with me as I as I try to uh, do these devotionals without coughing too much or without um, sounding too bad. I know I know on 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 the screen um, video it doesn't sound quite as bad as it does in my head. Like you can you can you th- feel like your voice sounds weird to you than more weird to you than it does on online. But to me, it sounds really strange. <laughs> so let's hope that uh, everybody can make it on this morning. Oh, good. Here comes some more. Good. I hope Kathy was able to find me. Um, let me type here uh, on now. Okay, let Kathy make sure she joins me. All righty, let's go ahead and get started with today, today's devotional. It is a good one. All right, so Romans 5.1 is our devotional for today. And as I've told you guys every day, I use what I call the BLESS method every single morning for my devotionals. And the reason I do that is because when I first started out doing journaling on a consistent basis, I realized I was using the same format every single day. So I decided to come up with an acronym for it that would help me remember what I did and in what order, and so I could share it with you guys. So what I I call it is BLESS, B-L-E-S-S, and the B stands for the Bible verse. The L stands for listening for God's word and praying. The E stands for exploring the history and the meaning, who wrote it, who was it written to, and when. And the first S stands for studying studying and savoring, picking out what the key words are and what their definitions are. And the last one is summarizing and sharing it. So talking about how that applies to our daily life. And this month of February is all about increasing our faith. So that's what today's verse is on. Today's verse, the B for our blessed method is Romans 5, 1. And it says, therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you pray with me? (coughs) Excuse me. Hopefully you can pray with me. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would give me a deeper understanding of what it means to be justified by faith and to have peace with you. Help me to see the significance of this truth for my life and how it should impact my thoughts and my actions and my relationships. I ask for your grace and your guidance and your wisdom as I seek to apply this to my daily life and to reveal it to me in a way that is personal and relevant to me ask that you would give me the strength and the courage to live out this faith and to share it with others. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. So exploring the history, who wrote this, when, and to what audience? So the book of Romans was written by the apostle Paul around 56 to 58 AD and was written to the Roman church um, who was made up of both Jewish and Gentile believers. And it was while Paul was in Corinth, Greece. So in Romans 5, Paul is building on the themes he established earlier in the chapter of this letter, particularly the idea that we are made right with God through faith in Jesus Christ. That's what justification means, being made right with God. And in verses 1 through 11, Paul explains the benefits that come from justification by faith, including peace with God access to grace and the hope of glory. 
Justification describes the process of how a person is declared righteous or justified before God, not based on their own good works or their own merits, but rather on the basis of faith in Jesus Christ. In other words, justification is God's act of declaring a person to be free from guilt or penalty of sin and to be in a right relationship with him. Paul wrote this letter to the Romans because he wanted to establish a relationship with the church there, which he had not yet visited, but he wanted to explain in more detail his understanding of the gospel message and to address some specific issues with the church. And one of the central themes of that letter is the unity between the Jewish and the Gentile believers in Christ, which was a very significant challenge for the early church. So the first S is studying the key words. So justified, as I said, it refers to being declared righteous or made right with God. Faith, we use this word a lot in our scripture. Faith refers to the trust or the belief in God in the saving work of Christ. Peace with God. That phrase describes the result in being justified through faith. A person is reconciled to God and is no longer in conflict with him. They have peace with God, which brings a sense of security and well-meaning. And through our Lord Jesus Christ, and that phrase emphasizes that uh, the only way, the only way to be justified and have grace with God, peace with God is through Jesus Christ. So in summarizing this, let me get a drink. Sorry. <laughs> in summarizing this, this is such a great reminder of the amazing grace and love that God has extended to us through his son. Through faith in Jesus, we are justified, we are made right with God, and we have peace. And this is the foundation of the Christian faith. And it is the truth that we can cling to in the midst of all of our struggles and challenges. To understand how someone goes through the process of becoming justified, I want to use a little example. So imagine a person who's been living apart from God. They've made mistakes. They've made poor choices that have caused them to feel guilty and distant from God. And that person might come to a point in their life where they realize that they need help. They can't fix their own problems anymore. They turn to God in prayer and they ask for forgiveness. And they ask for their salvation through Jesus Christ. That's the first step in the process of becoming justified, recognizing our need for God's grace and turning to him in faith. The next step is to believe in Jesus Christ as the son of God who died on the cross for our sins and rose again, conquering death and sin. Believing as Jesus is not just agreeing with something in your mind. You've got to put your full trust in God's love and mercy. <coughs> our justification isn't based on our own good works, but on our faith in Jesus Christ. We can't earn salvation, but we can live a life of gratitude and obedience to God, following his commands and seeking to love and serve other people. And we need to share the good news of God's love and grace with other people. Invite them to experience that peace that comes from being justified. So today I want to finish this up by considering the ways in which God has extended his grace and love to you. Ask God to help you deepen your faith and your trust in him and to live out a life of gratitude and obedience to his commands. Seek out opportunities to share the good news of gospel with others and be a witness of God's love and grace in the world. Just never, ever forget that through your faith in Jesus, you can be justified, you can be reconciled, and you can have peace. Amen? Amen. All right, so the Bible cross-references Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. I'm not going to read it. Galatians 2, 16. Colossians 1, verses 20 and 22. And Philippians 3, verses 3 and 9. Those are the different uh, Bible verses that you can um, go to for a little bit of lot more discussion. All right. So my journal, I'm so excited to show this with you guys. I got my sample. I am absolutely thrilled with it. 
It has a linen cover in two colors. I want to make sure you can see this. It kind of looks a little bit like you can't. There you go. It says be still on the top in gold, but it's got the two cover two um, sections here. It's got the, the, the beige on top and the blue on the bottom. And it says the blessed method, volume one. Uh, the spine even says the blessed method on it. And then when you open it up, it's got um, some pages in it that uh, this journal belongs to. And you put your name and your dates in there. As a little understanding of why I wrote this journal and why I have it available for you. And then it's got the blessed method spelled out right in it. So it tells you exactly how to follow the blessed method in detail. It tells you how to get started, where you can find your prompts, where you can go and get more information is all over here. Then I have a journal tracker over here for 90 days. There's 90 days worth of journal pages in this. And every day that you complete a journal page, you color it in. You can use either markers or you can use pencils or whatever you want in this. I did yesterday's journal page right in here. I used a, um, a marker. Um, let's see here. One of these fine felt marker markers. And it did not bleed through at all. You can see I used it on several things. And you cannot see it on the other side at all. So they're nice thicker pages. So it doesn't bleed through. I don't know about gel pens. Um, I, don't, I don't use gel pens. Some of you do. You might just have to try it out and see. But it's got 90 pages worth of the blessed method it's all bound in this book it has a little pocket in the back that you can put some papers in if you want to and then it's got an elastic strap that you can use to hold it closed <coughs> excuse me it's also going to have a plastic cover that could go over top of it because linen tends to get a little bit dirtier even though it looks classier and nicer it does tend to get dirtier so there it is, my Be Still Bless Method Journal. I'm so excited about it. Let me know what you think. Um, I do have an opportunity for you to find out more about when it'll be available. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I have a link that you can, you can um, enter your name and your email to be contacted when this goes on sale. I have to find out from my supplier when it'll be available, but I can give you updates through that through email to let you know. And I'll be offering, um, I'll be offering a new, um, uh, a, a, a reduced price for those that pre-order the journal. Okay. Oh, good, Karen. I'm glad you love it. Good. So if you want to pre-order it, um, I will have that available probably in um, a couple weeks because I'll have to find out for sure exactly um, when it's going to be available. All right. So thank you. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you for suffering through this, this cold I have. Um, it's been a week now. Hopefully I get over it soon. I've been taking medication, so hopefully it's done pretty quickly. All right. So thanks a lot for joining me a little bit longer than, than usual for this devotional. But I'm glad you were here with me. And I pray that you have a very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.